I like to watch colors change. I like to watch purple go from a rich darkness to a watery uh, lightness. The work I was making uh, maybe 10 years ago was based on images that I saw out in the world photographs or posters and I moved to Berlin and my world changed. Part of me was running away from New York. You know, I didn't speak German. I was much more isolated. I was on too much medication for depression. It was harder and harder to be out in the world and function. It, it took me to a point where I couldn't even work. I couldn't, I couldn't make things. Uh, that, that was the end. <laughs> It was a point, it was like, okay, I, I need to change some things. And so, so I thought if I quit drinking and quit this medication, that I would start to get better. Um, that didn't, it didn't happen exactly in that order, but it eventually did happen. And um, drawing has always been a way to like find some peace. And drawing and books. The first book that I made that, that is part of this series was a book inspired by Hans Faladas, The Drinker. In the most literal sense, I wanted to take the book and start to make images from it, so I poured a bottle of wine over a blank book that was standing up and uh, let the drips run down the pages. And I just looked at the shapes that were made. The shapes were very abstract. Sometimes they started to uh, look like figures. Also the drips were uh, kind of, they alluded to weeping. I was interested in, in using that. And using that as a structure to make something else. So in the, you know, in the process of healing and getting better, and um, I was also shown how to combine that work with my art making. And then over time, I switched to gouache or ink as the first color that I would pour over a book. And sometimes it was found books that were about things that I was interested in. I started doing the same thing that made the paintings on canvas. I looked at the books for shapes that I wanted to take to the walls and enlarge and, and repeat. The first time I did that was, was in New York last year. And I used a shape that for me looked like a mourner, a figure mourning um, in a sort of ceremonial process. I was also interested in having more chance happen and being less sure of what I wanted to make. I wanted to be kind of surprised by the image that appeared from doing something. I was getting ready to do the show in New York and I needed a stick to draw with. The stick was um, given to me by a tree. It's a tree that has become a confidant. So I went to the spot. I asked for a stick. And when I was done doing that, I looked on the ground and there was a stick laying there that was the right size. <laughs> I squeezed the tree and said, thank you. <laughs> And you know, all of this stuff relates to the books and relates to this work that I'm making now because, you know, in that process of making the books, there was a, th you know, this pouring of this liquid it was, you know, it alluded to weeping to me and, and I, was I was literally weeping. And there was something about taking it out of me and making something that did it outside of me that was, that, that helped. And, you know, during that process of just being in pain and, and
and accepting that that was where I was at, I was able to eventually start to heal and and uh, hear hear what the people who were trying to help me were saying. And then at the same time, you know, I saw in the books, there's all this stuff in between the weeping. There's, <laughs> there's all these shapes, there's, <laughs> there's a, there's a life in between. You know, seeing that was like, oh my God, I have to, like, I have to free those shapes from the pain.